hello and welcome back to unpacking episode 11. I am excited to be back doing unpacking and I'll be quite honest I took I know my channel doesn't show it because I uploaded videos ahead of time but I took, took a couple blah, 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 took a couple days off um that is because uh, I got prescribed an ADHD med, which I talked about in my last video, my last unpacking video. <laughs> and I was told there'd be side effects, but man, they kicked my booty. Um, just a lot of nausea, dizziness, and stuff like that. So it's been a lot of. I have chronic health health conditions. Why can't I put that up there with them? <laughs> Why did things get moved from where I put them? Anyway, uh, I have a lot of chronic health conditions as it is. So I'm very used to listening to my body. So it, is, it just took some adjusting. Like eating a lot more small meals through the day. Um, you just don't feel hungry a lot when you're taking these kind of medicines. And I notice I also can't eat as much. Um, which, not a bad thing. I do need to lose weight. But I need to make sure I don't lose weight too quickly. So yeah. Anyway, it looks like uh, our main character here has had somebody move in. I'm guessing a girlfriend, based on the stuff that's been unpacked. Um, that's very cute. Oh, so I said I would give an update. Um, I was put on a very low dose. So... Things are... I still have some ADHD symptoms. I'm sure you can tell I'm a lot more subdued. A friend of mine uh, described it as my personality's normally at like an 11. <laughs> my energy level, my personality's normally at an 11. And now it's more at like a, a, a 3. <laughs> Which is not a bad thing, because being at an 11 all the time is super exhausting and overwhelming um and even though i've been feeling like absolute garbage with <laughs> the side effects i've still been getting things done here and there um if you're interested in more information about the side effects and what med i'm on and stuff i would gladly share that in another video on soothing sunday i, th I think this is where i'm going to be posting story times and updates and things like that because honestly, I don't feel like I have much I can say about the gameplay. And I feel like it's more fun to just watch the game. Because again, I record this ahead of time because of my schedule. I think it's more fun to watch the gameplay happen. And just kind of talk. So I'm watching this while you're watching it, by the way. Um, <laughs> I did... I, I am the one that played it, but I, I played it last week, so it's been a while. I don't know if I just described my creative process well or not, but that's how it works for me, and it seems to work out well. Anyway, um, so yeah, it's, uh, <sighs> I suffered greatly with executive dysfunction. Like, suffer is definitely a good descriptor for how I was coping. Basically, my brain was going a million miles a minute all day, every day. And I was too paralyzed to do things that needed to be done. Like, things that now that my brain has been quieted down which by the way uh, I take my meds in the morning and I record these at night so if you're like ah you still sound all over the place to me well, that's be because I just it's not really in my system anymore at this point the reason I'm subdued sub bleh, bleh, subdued is because I had a little bit of a crash because that happens when you're yeah Anyway, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with letting my ADHD 
come out and give me a little more personality because I'll tell you during the day I'm still there I'm still me like I said it's just going from like an 11 to a 3 um, once it wears off and once I get past the I'm beyond exhausted point of the day which hits right around dinner time for me then I get a little bit more of my like <laughs> type of personality for lack of a better word I don't even know what that noise was yeah that needs to go on the monster head but um so it's just uh where was I yeah ADHD uh, <laughs> mid talking went off on a tangent on myself but it's uh oh yeah things I thought were would my brain convinced me were like super hard and I was incapable of prioritizing things like uh, for instance I have a certain chair in the living room that's comfortable for me to sit in so next to that chair are drawers to help hold all my various projects which that's something but I'll get to that in a minute <laughs> they uh, the drawers kind of became like a catch-all mess and in my brain logically I'm like I'm like if I clean that up it'll be a step towards cleaning up other things but to me prioritizing meant no, 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 no. I need to organize things that are out where people can see them. But that felt like too big of a task. And so I'd be sitting there arguing inside my own brain all day, and I'd never actually get anything done because I'd be so tired from an exhausting internal monologue. Um, if this is something you struggle with, no, you're not alone. A lot of us do it. Um, but yeah, back to the projects. Jesus Christ! <sighs> My cats are racing up and down the stairs. Um, so back to the projects thing. Uh, the psychiatrist evaluated me to make sure I had ADHD. It just, you know, that's a smart move. You want to make sure <laughs> before you prescribe anything. Um, but I got halfway through the evaluation thing he was having me filled out before he even spoke to me about it. And I was like, I'm feeling called out by your worksheet here. And he's like, can you elaborate? I was like, right here. It says, I frequently start many projects and fail to finish most of them. Very called out, sir. It's so, like, it's sad, and I, I get that if it's not something you struggle with or not something you've witnessed firsthand, you're not going to get that. I know, because I have family that just, like, family I grew up with that are like, I don't get why you're this way, why are you this way, da, 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 da. Like, type A personalities in my family that just did not get the chaos that resides within my brain and it would because they're type A type people oh my lord would it frustrate them like I've talked before about how my OCD makes me fairly type A at times but there's a lot of places where I'm not type A with my OCD because OCD is not all about freaking out and needing things to be perfectly cleaned and organized. That's not, that's not how that works. OCD is a lot more than that. But anyway, it's a lot of times the people that don't understand, they just, they're like, I'll grow up. I'll grow up. I've been told that so many times in my life. And it's like, unless you've experienced it firsthand because it's your actual life, or, like in the case of my husband, you see it firsthand in what somebody else is going through, especially on a day-to-day -day basis. You're not going to get it. 
you're really not. It really is like there's things going on in the brain. There's actual chemical stuff at play. And much like many things in the world, if homemade is not possible, i.e. making your own chemicals is not possible, then store-bought or, in this case, prescription is fine. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise or shame you. Even your own brain, because trust me, my brain tried to bullet me about that and I looked up like, how do normal people feel when they take ADHD? You know, neurotypical people. And it's like, um, well that description sounds like me without taking my meds. And then it's like, well, if you have ADHD and you take this medication, then you're going to feel subdued. And yeah, I, I do. I feel like I took a Xanax, to be honest with you. Um, I've taken those once or twice. I have severe flighting, flying anxiety, so they prescribed that. But uh, yeah, just calm. Um, like I say it's subdued, but it's just like my personality's toned down. Um, my loudness is turned down. I tend to be a very loud person, but I'm still me. I'm still creative. I just, the chaos is more controlled. There's still chaos. I'm just able to figure out what to do with it better. And it's lovely. So yeah, I promised an update. There's the update. <laughs> Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!